comment in the, in the chat, chat section below. Type in your answers and your shares. So I'll give a brief background of myself. I'm 33 years old right now, and I've been with Film Life for the past seven years. I started here when I was 26 years old. Um, I'm doing well in my business. However, maybe just like all of you, wanted to add additional income. Right, so I want to double my income. That's my goal, not just additional income. Ko ano yung ko presently in my business. I'm in the real estate field. I want to double that. And true enough, that's what happened. More than doubled my income because of this career. Um, and, you know, I started in sales, in the sales industry, when I was 21 years old, before I graduated in college. It was 2008. And I didn't realize that it was crisis back then. Hindi ko alam na may crisis noon. So nakatingin lang ako excited. Gusto kong uh, kumita ng malaking pera. I want, I want to, uh, as, early, as early as possible, reach my dreams. Right. So, true enough, after one year, I earned my first million in the sales industry and never looked back to employment. Ganon. So, actually, I was never employed because I saw that my time pays more. The time that I spend here in this business pays more no, compared to if I will be an industrial engineer. I, I graduated industrial engineering from Adamson, but I realized that I'll be able to earn bigger, faster, I'll be able to earn bigger, faster. If I take charge and spend my time wisely, so ganun ko siya nakita. Um, and relating it to what we have right now, we also are in a crisis. And if only if you, siguro, if we will just look, push forward and see what is the good, no, we'll just be excited of something. Most likely, magiging sobrang successful din tayo. Ulit, no, moving forward or probably more, ganun. So. Uh, that's what happened. I didn't know merong crisis. Nagbenta lang ako na nagbenta. Nag-serve lang ako ng mga clients. Hindi ko iniisip na hindi nila kayang bumili. Di ba? Or may mga challenges sa finances. But because that was the global financial crisis, 2008. Di ba? I didn't know. Ngayon ko lang yan compare na ganun din pala. So sabi ko, people who would be, who would act fast and do what needs to be done right now during this time, preparing, most probably, magiging sobrang successful then right after. Kasi mauuna kayo. No, and I'm, that's why I'm glad that you're here today listening to this orientation. Meaning you're already opening your mind to the possibilities of doing something new and probably traverse to a something bigger and, and a better opportunity for you. All right, so that's what we'll be talking about right now. Um, and, and right now, I'm so happy that I'm with Film Life. I'm able to, again have more sources of income and apart from that being able to really help other people i'm happy that this career allows me to make good money while helping other people both those who are part of my team and the, the clients that we serve all right so now let's talk about the present situation the reality is we're facing a major crisis and laki ng effect nito sa sa ating lahat uh, COVID-19 has affected many businesses, um, allows probably some of the industries to shut down, particularly the, the travel or the hospitality industry really, um, really, really affected. Um, and dahil affected yung maraming negosyo, more than 90% of the businesses in the Philippines are small uh, and medium entrepreneurs, micro, small and medium entrepreneurs. Um, because of that, probably the economy will take a hit as well. No, 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 normal yan. Um, and you, have, you may have felt that your income went down and as well as different businesses. Now jobs, jobs became uncertain. Before, akala natin, pag may trabaho tayo, secure na yun. Right now, hindi pala. Kasi when businesses are losing money, the next thing that they need to do is cut off expenses and salaries is the easiest way or the easiest expense to cut off if ever diba? maybe if you have savings it already gets depleted or nabawasan siya tremendously plus we have health concerns we are so um you know especially during the first few weeks of this lockdown i'm sure takot tayong lahat na lumabas ganyan up until now even siguro umalis yang uh, matapos yung ECQ, ngayon MECQ na, uh, even GCQ to some areas, 
I even have a business owner friend who's, you know, telling his employees the whole year of 2020, we do work from home. Ganon, di ba? So, ganon sila ka concern Ganon tayo ka concern in terms of our health. Right? So, um, this is what it looks like right now. If you have a pail or bucket of water and halos walang pumapasok dyan, kahit puno yan, posibleng maubos because of all the holes that we have. Right? And andito mga holes na to, ito yung bills that we need to pay regularly. The rent or mortgage that we have to pay for our home we have to eat, of course. We have to take care of our health. Diba? Um, before, hindi ka na mabumibili ng, gas, ng mask, ganyan. Yung mga medicines, we, you, you stock up for, with more medicines for you to stay healthy. So, we want to do that. Plus, if you have debts, you have to pay for that. Balik lang ako doon na sobra. Right? So, if you have debts, you have to pay for your debts as well. So, if you would notice, mas maraming palabas kesa sa papasok. And that's the major challenge right now. Again, if we don't do something about it, posibleng maubos yan. Right? Posibleng maubos yan. Um, especially if your industry or your job or your business is affected. Um, it will really be a big problem and challenge. So we gotta do something about it. Another question that probably is looming in our heads is, how big is my safety fund or emergency fund? Magano ba karami talaga yung naipon ko? to make me last long in what's happening. And you can also ask, do I have enough funds if this gets extended, di ba? Yun na nga, akala natin one month lang, na-extend ng 15 days, another 15 days, and then after today, uh, starting tomorrow, probably, um, yun nga, hindi pa rin talaga siya totally lifted. Because that's what we want. Yun naman talaga yung reality. We don't want to risk our health. So, okay na yung ganun. Kaya lang, syempre, ang tanong, gano ako katagal-tatagal? Right? Yun yung malaking question. And maybe, I want you to ask yourself, did my current career prepare me for this? No, yung ginagawa ko ba ngayon, na-prepare ba ako sa nangyayari recently? Meaning, am I earning well? And, and yes, or was I earning well? And did I, or am I able to really save up or manage my finances really well. So that could be some of the questions that we had. But again, that's it. That's the past. Probably now, the question is, how do I bounce back fast? Because I'm sure most, if not all of us, are really affected and hit by this crisis. Emotionally, mentally, and even financially. And maybe that's why you're here. You're already looking at opportunities for you to bounce back immediately. So again, what we need to do is hopefully after all of this, your career or your job goes back, you have that source of income. And But you know, the, hindi naman makabawasan yung palabas eh. Talagang tuloy-tuloy yan. You have to pay your bills, you have to pay your rent. Yun talaga yung realization eh. You have to eat, you have to take care of your health. If you have debts, you have to pay them. Diba? Um, kahit wala kang income, those bills won't stop as long as you will live. Ganon. So we might need a bigger source of income or more sources of income. So maybe you would want to have a new business to add up to, a sort, to that source of income or probably give you a bigger source of income. And then, pag lumaki pa yung kita mo, probably you add more investments. You gotta invest your money to make that money work for you. And then more and more and more sources of income. Now the question is, is your current job giving you that much source of income or isa lang talaga yung source of income dun sa career or business mo. Um, because the ideal is malaki yung pwede mong kitain sa meron ka ngayon plus marami kang different income sources even in that one single career. And that's what we'll be talking about moving forward. The goal is sumobra-sobra yan more than what you need so that you can even help other people yung overflow ng, ng kita mo. You're able to donate some of your money and tight, do tights, at least 10% of your income, you actively giving it to church. Diba? And then yung sobra dyan, you fill up your emergency fund or your safety fund. That's the goal. Now, because we've seen or oh, this this pandemic has shown us that probably we are not ready if this lasts long. This is a taste of retirement actually. Ang tanong, gano'ng katatagal yung retirement fund mo? kung meron ka na. 
Parang yun yung savings mo ngayon eh. And yun na nga. That's why a lot of people, when they retire, they, they run out of money because this is the reality. Konti yung pumapasok or wala, tuloy-tuloy yung paglabas. Kahit pa maliit lang yung gastos mo, tuloy-tuloy yun eh. As long as you live, as long as you need to, to eat and survive, you got to pay money. Diba? Dapat may lalabas. Ganun. So, this is what we want you to learn ngayon pa lang. That you gotta increase your income so that you can save up and probably invest more of that moving forward. Para babalikin dyan sa taas, you have investments that pays you more and more and more income. Right? So that's what we, some of the few things that we're learning in this industry. So I always say that in every adversity lies an opportunity. Um, we're fa facing a huge adversity right now, big challenges. But you know, there's also opportunity at the back of that. If only we open our minds into it. Right? Um, and again, as I, I mentioned earlier, a lot of people after this pandemic will still move slowly. Right? They won't want to do something new muna. Alam mo yun? Um, wala pa. Parang nakakapagod eh, or napanghinaan ng loob eh. Ganon. But you who are starting to explore and see if this industry is really for you, um, it means that you're more open. And because of that, you know, if you just apply what you will be learning here today, I'm sure that you will get ahead of most people. And that's part of the opportunity. Ganun talaga eh. Not everyone, you know, will take the opportunity. Opportunity is for everyone, but not everyone will take a hold of that opportunity and do something about it. Alright, so, now first, pag-usapan natin, what's an ideal career for you? Diba? Is your current job, is that your ideal career for you? Or what I will mention today, does this, or are these present in your current career? So, type in in the comment section, what is an ideal career for you? Is that a career that pays you an unlimited income? Or you may be able to earn an income which is no ceiling, yung ba yung gusto mong career? O gusto mo yung career na flexible yung time mo? Right? You can work anytime, even on a weekend, if you choose to, even at night. Pero even you can go home early rin as well, if you want. Diba? Ganun ba yung gusto mong career? You have choices, you have time for your passion, for your family, for yourself. Or you want a career that has a career growth potential. Yung, mabilis, yung pwede kang mabilis ma-promote kung alam mong magaling ka, kaya kang ma-promote, pwede kang ma-promote ng mas mabilis. Is that something that you want in, a, in, in an ideal career? Or you want something that makes, that can help you make a difference? Now, is that something na alam mo yung kumikita ka and then nakakatulong ka rin sa iba? Right? So, may I just get a few shares, a few answers from you guys? In the comment section, I want to know what's an ideal career for you. So, lipa tayo dyan. I'll, I'll check my screen. Sige. So, please type in the comment section, ano yung itsura ng ideal career for you guys? Or if you will score your current job or current career from this area, one being the lowest, ten being the highest, nasan ka? Sabi ni Kiel, all of the above. Yes, Kiel. Ang tanong ko ngayon, syempre gusto natin lahat dyan. Ano, ano rito sa apat na to? Or probably something else that you're thinking. Yung pinakaangat na pag sinabi mong ito meron to sa career, ito yung gustong gusto ko. Oh, si Robbie, flexible time, right? That's good. I like that. No, para at least hindi ka naharas dun sa time mo, di ba? Kung kailan mo gustong uh, lumabas, ganyan. So, dun ka lalabas, papasok. You have time for your family. Ganon. Is your family ba, Robbie, with you in Boracay? Ikaw lang, di ba? So, syempre, nakaka-miss din yun, di ba? So, what if you have a career 
that you have time to time for your family kasama mo sila and be with them anytime that they need you and yet they're making good money diba is that something na you, you would say an ideal career sabi ni June unlimited income and flexible time that's that's good diba malaki yung income potential and yet you have limited uh, flexible time kasi di ba important yun ako I, I know some people hindi naman kailangan hindi nila gustong sobrang laki ng kita but even if they earn the same amount of income from their current job pero mas marami silang time for their families or their passion or for themselves they'll be happy to do, to have that di ba and that's an ide- ideal career for them yun yung unlimited income of course napakaganda niyan para at least if you have big dreams and i'm sure you all do hindi ka na limit no na eh kasi ito lang yung sweldo ko hanggang dito lang na if you know that you're good magaling ka gagawin mo yung lahat and i know you you will hit your dreams as soon as possible sabi ni mark a limited income in order to help other people yes this i like that mark no you you are you recognize that you need to earn more and more money so that you have more money to help as well Diba? Kasi ang sarap tumulong kung unang-una natulungan mo rin yung family mo. Kasi sabi nga nila, charity starts at home. Diba? And at the same time, you're able to you know help other people kasi beyond your family, masaya na sila. Nakakatulong ka. Sabi ni Kiel, unlimited income. I don't want money to be an issue for my future family. Tama yun. Diba? Uh, ako rin, no? the reason why I started early, uh, a very young age at age 21, kasi sabi ko, gusto ko magkaroon ng family in the future. Gusto ko ma-provide ko yung para sa kanila. Ganun. I have a lot of dreams for them. ba diba? So, probably you also wanna travel. Kasama yan dyan sa perks, eh, no? Na if you are able to travel, you have unlimited income. And then, flexible time. Kasi anytime you can travel. ba diba? Ang hirap nung magpa-file ka pa ng leave. Sabi ni Joji, I want a career where I can have a limited income so that I can make a difference by helping people those in needs. Tama. Ang ganda nun. Yes. No? Um, that's always... I, I like that mentality na... Of course, hindi naman tayo tulong-tulong lang eh. No? Tumutulong lang sa ibang tao. We want to also be help, helping ourselves. And then because we're so happy and we're so blessed, we want to extend that to other people. That's the reality of being successful. No? Hindi naman pwedeng puro tulong ka lang kung hindi ka rin nagtitake or hindi ka rin nagbe-benefit, maganda na nagbe-benefit tayo, ba? Diba? And then, we're helping along the way. ba diba? Ang ganda nun, win-win scenario. Kasi nakakapagod din kung hindi ka kumikita. May mga ganun namang karir eh. You can just help, help, and help. ba? Diba? Okay naman yun, masaya yun. Pero, one of the mentalities of successful people and rich people is, pwedeng both. No? Pwede kang tumulong habang kumikita ng malaki. Right? So, that's really good. Sabi ni Melissa, making a difference to save lives. Yeah, so we wanna, you know, help people and probably make an impact to their lives as well. Right? So, thank you for some of your shares. Let's proceed. Later, if you have mga other answers pa, you can leave in the comment section. So, as, as I mentioned, Probably it's this is the time to think. Does a career that I have right now, tas dun sa mga sinagot nyo, am I a 10 dun sa current career ko? Or meron pang igugrow? Baka 5 lang ako dyan, 6 lang, or probably 3 lang ako dyan. What will make it a 10? Diba? What will make it a 10? Yun yung, gusto, ganun yung gusto kong tanongin mo sa sarili mo. Eh. Probably, maganda yung kita mo sa work mo, pero hindi, wala ka naman time for yourself. Hindi, hindi siya 10 pagating sa flexible time. Or, masaya naman yung working environment, pero ang baba ng kita. Or it doesn't pay, you know, enough dun sa trabaho mo. Di, hindi siya unlimited income. Kasi kahit anong galing mo, sipag mo, limited lang yung pwede mong kitain. Medyo mahirap yun. ba? Diba? So, now let's talk about why venture to being a financial advisor. What are the perks? What, what is good about this career? Right? And let's see if this can be your ideal career as well. I, the first answer for that is that the reality is people need guidance when it comes to their finances. I, um, so meaning there's a big need in terms of this career. 
malaki yung pangangailangan. Um, and it, you don't need to be better or richer than your clients. You just need to be the guide. You just need to be the coach. Diba? So, uso ngayon yung last dance, diba? It doesn't mean Phil Jackson, yung coach, the coach of Chicago Bulls, is bet, as a better player than Michael Jordan. Hindi. So, you as a financial advisor, you don't need to be richer or better than your clients. Hindi eh. But you see things on a different angle that probably they don't see. And you guide them because people need guidance talaga. Hindi nila yung gagawin mag-isa most of the time. Hindi nila kayang mag-isa. Then that's our value. Alright? Let's talk about some of the challenges that people are facing right now. The first is the sandwich generation. Ikaw ba yung nasa ganitong generation wherein you have to support your parents while they grow old? Kasi wala siguro sila naipon or naubos na. And then, when you have a family or kung meron ka ng existing family, you have to support them as well. So, ipit na ipit, di ba? So, minsan kahit hindi ka na makakita or maganda naman yung kita mo pero nauubos dahil you're supporting too many people, Pagtanda mo, wala ka savings. Ubus din. Ganun yung mangyayari sa anak mo. So it becomes a cycle. Diba? We have to stop this cycle. And this is one of the big missions. Right? My question is, sino rito sa inyo, listening here, are in the sandwich generation? Yung you know you have to help your parents. And then, kung may family ka, you have to help your own family. Or pag nagka-family ka na, if you're still single, you'll be part of this sandwich generation as well. So you can live in a comment section if you're part of the sandwich generation. If not naman, so you're a bit less than most people, probably my challenge to you is, there's, since you're blessed, I think there's more to you. Mas malaki yung, there's a bigger purpose and it's not an accident that you're listening to this orientation. Me as well, I didn't really have to help my father and mother regularly. So I don't feel I'm in the sandwich generation talaga. And I'm blessed with that. And I took it upon myself now, wow, since I'm blessed, I think God is telling me I have to help more people. That's why I, I went into this industry as well. I want to educate other people and help some of the financial advisors in my team to be millionaires as well. Right? So... That can be your mission. Whatever generation you're in today, you have a purpose why you're here in this industry. And why are you listening to this orientation? So this is the, one of the biggest challenges. Another challenge is the burden of the breadwinner. Um, how many of you are breadwinners? Meaning sa inyo umaasa yung major, majority ng kita ng family. Or if you know other breadwinners, they are like this ATM that they have to print money 15th and 30th of the month for their families. Diba? And imagine if you have your own ATM at home. Um, will you ensure that para pag nasira, may pamalit? No? Kung meron kang ATM, nagpiprint ng pera, sigurado, guaranteed, 15th and 30th of the month, i-insure mo ba yon? If your answer is yes, then life, that's life insurance for you. Because life insurance is a replacement income in case that goes away because of death or disability, right? Or sickness. So, and a lot of people don't realize this or sometimes, you know, narinig na nila, but they don't take action. How many people in your, in your family, in your friends, set of friends, in your circle, who are breadwinners, who you feel they should have enough life insurance. Maybe meron na silang life insurance, probably. The question is, is it enough? And I guarantee you, 99% of your clients, they don't have enough life insurance. Right? 99% of people that you know, they don't have enough life insurance. Right? Bakit? Kasi for me, minimum life insurance should be 10 years or annual income. So that in anything happens to your income because of death or sickness, or disability, may 10 years kang kapalit yung income mo. Imagine kung yung breadwinner, lahat ng family niya, meron siyang tatlong anak, asawa, lahat umaasa sa kanya. Four lives, five lives, binubuhay niya because of that income. If that income is gone, what will happen to the family? That's our job, to make them realize and take action. 
Another thing is the reality in terms of retirement. Like people when they age 65, 54% are still dependent to their kids or to the government. And 36% still needs to work. Alam mo yon nag-retire na, tapos naubos yung pera. They have to work again. And you know, if you've been to abroad, especially in Singapore, I see this most of the time, yung mga hawkers, tagalinis ng table, mga matatanda. Bakit, di ba? Ibig sabihin, hindi, pa nila, hindi nila kayang masustain yung lifestyle. Maybe naubos na yung pera nila. Di ba? Hindi rin kaya ng anak nila kasi ang taas ng cost of living. So they still need to work. Nakakaawa yun. And 36% of people who retire are in this position. Di ba ngayon na lang eh? You've seen people, they still have to go out even may COVID because wala silang kakainin for today. They have to sell something. Grabe yun. I mean, nakakabilib. Pero at the, at the end of the day, the backstory there is matanda na sila, hindi sila nakapag-prepare. 5% are deceased, 4% are stable, and only 1% is wealthy or are wealthy. Right? So, now the question is, why 95% of people fail when it comes to their finances? The first answer or the first reason is because there's no financial education. It was never taught in school. We don't have a personal finance subject in school. Maaring may finance and investments, but walang personal finance. A lot of things that we've talked about previously in this a few minutes that I'm talking, um, probably hindi natulo sa school. So I don't know why, di ba? There's a conspiracy there. Bakit hindi nila tinuturo? Or probably there's no not enough competent individuals to talk about it because you got to somehow at least practice it in your lives. Diba? So there's really a big need. People fail. Even they have good money right now, good income. Most people will still fail because of these three reasons. The second is there's no financial game plan. Maaring naka-attend ng seminar, nakabasa ng libro, naka-watch ng video, pero hindi naman nagawa ng plano. Or kung may plano, hindi na tuloy-tuloy because there's no financial coach. I don't know if some of you will can relate, but I always ask this question. How many of you told yourselves, magda-diet na ako? Or mag exercise na ako? And yet, after one, two days, after one week, hindi mo na siya matuloy-tuloy. Diba? We go back to our default. Um, the main reason is we don't have a coach. We don't have accountability. We don't have someone to check on us and remind us, akala ko ba magsisave ka na? ng pera. Akala ko ba gusto mo na mag-prepare for retirement? Or akala ko ba you, you want 10 times of your annual income as your life insurance and then you don't want to start? Right? So, as a financial advisor, guys, that's our role. To remind our clients not just to educate them because there's a lot of educating platforms. We can do that as well. But beyond that, it's about really asking them to take action and then ensuring that let's say nakapagsimula na sila hindi nila bibitawan yung plano na yun kasi that's the challenge in terms of actually anything in life there should be longevity di ba kung magda-diet ka dapat tuloy-tuloy kung mag-exercise ka dapat maging habit siya ganun din sa finances if you will be saving or investing it should be a continuous habit hindi pwedeng na nainggit ka lang sa kaibigan mo nagsimula ka bumili ka ng plan tapos Pag hindi mo na kaya, hindi mo na itutuloy. Parang ganun. Or you prioritize other things compared to your insurance policy. So that's our value. That's why people need a coach. Are you, are you able to relate? If you can relate, no, rel um, comment in the chat box. I want to know if you're getting what I mean by that. No, because that's really the main, main job of financial advisors. Yan, may mga sumasagot. Mamaya, mababasa ko yung mga sagot nyo. So, the good news is you can be that financial coach for them. Because people need a coach, then you can be the financial coach. That's the opportunity. And that's really the mission. If you are telling me you want to make a difference to other people's lives, then, um, you know, being that financial coach can really help. Right? That's our job. And the, the income is unlimited. Right? The people, you know, the people that needs help are also unlimited. We'll talk about that in a moment. Diba? Maybe you're asking, will people have money to invest? That's the question. You know, I will always say that when people see the value of anything, 
they buy. ba? Diba? Ngayon, nagagrab ka kahit mas mahal kapag may, may delivery fee. Pero, gusto mo magpa-deliver ng food. May gusto kang bilhin sa labas. Kesa ikaw yung lumabas, you know that the grab, grab driver provides more value. Saves time, hindi ka lalab, walang exposure and everything. So you buy money kahit mas mahal. You, you pay that kahit mas mahal, di ba? So meaning, if you'll just be able to educate people and make them realize that what we have is really important for them, then they will set aside something. Now that's our job. Whatever the season is, may, may crisis man o wala. You might be asking, is this a good time to start this business? I always say, um, the, the best time is always yesterday. The second best time is now. Um, because again, especially if you want to make a great career and big income here, you should realize that it doesn't come overnight. Diba? So habang maganda nga, ito nga maganda eh, habang mababa, sabi natin of course, affected yung market, mas konti yung bibili, although may bibili mas konti. So you use this time to grow yourself, study, prepare yourself, so that when times are good na, you're so equipped and you're so ready. Yun yung sinasabi ko kanina na, um, you know, when I started, it was crisis pala. But I didn't realize, pagating ng 2009, no, paakit na yung economy. I'm, so, I'm just so active in doing what needs to be done, prospecting, talking to prospects. I earned my first million after one year in, in, in the sales industry because, I don't know, maybe konti yung kalaban, kaya siya mas madali. Diba? Aside from that, hindi ko tinitignan yung negative. I just look at the positive. So, this is really a good time to prepare yourself and learn things needed in this career. Right? So maybe it's also a good time because you have a lot more extra time for yourself. Diba? So what is one to two hours a day learning something in this industry? Right? And even starting talking to your clients because when you do that, even if they don't buy, you learn. Right? And it prepares you for a bigger and more successful career moving forward. Hopefully next year, paangat na ulit ang economy. Diba? This is a good time to start. How big is the market? Let's talk about how big is the market. Meron pa ba akong mabibentahan? Um, baka lahat nakakilala ko meron ng life insurance. Sige, let's talk about it. The first concept is that there's a very, very big protection gap in the Philippines. Only 2% of the required protection is being served. So it's not even 2% of people it's about 2% of the required protection. Meaning, kahit yung kaibigan mo meron na, kulang pa yung protection na meron siya. So, client pa din siya. Market pa din siya. Diba? So, that's why I'm telling you that 99% of people that you will talk to will still need to buy from you. You just need to make them realize kailangan pa. That's only our job, actually. Educate them what's needed and then help them decide that they have to get something. Right? Again, the basic formula kung life insurance sa pag-uusapan is 10 times your annual income. Why? The, the question I always ask is, if in case your income stops because of death or disability, how many years do you want me or Film Life provide for your family? 5 years lang ba? 10 years? 15 years? 20 years? And some will even say, gusto ko nga lifetime eh, kung pwede. So I tell them, yeah, that's why at least 10 years, that's our initial goal. At least 10 years of your income. Right? And then probably you can get more if you would want pag nahit na natin yung initial goal. Right? So ganun kalaki yung market, guys. Um, only if you, you know, present it the right way, just like what I'm telling you. Hindi po mahirap mag-present neto. Yun lang. Kung ano yung kinuwento ko sa inyo, ganun lang din ako minsan mag-present. So, it's just, you just need practice. And the reality is, client who understand the need, clients who understand the need buy an average of seven policies in their lifetime. When I joined Film Life, I don't have an insurance policy. I was 26 years old. Right now, I believe I have 15 insurance policies already for the past seven years because I realized yun pala yung goal. No? Continuously, kailangan magdagdag ng life insurance. Kahit mababa lang muna, kung kulang pa yan, bili ulit, pagpapwede, ganun. So, um, 
your clients will also be like that. If you take care of them, if you really educate them and build a good relationship with them, bibili sila ulit. Bibili sa ula ulit. Ganyan na mangyayari. So pag tumagal ka nga rito sa industry nito, actually, you may not even need to get new prospects kasi sila na lang sila, bibili na sila ng bibili. No? So ganun yung nangyayari sa mga top advisors natin dito sa Film Life. So let's talk about your future in this career. Okay, ang galaki pala ng market. Paano naman yung career progression ko rito? Mer, ano ba na ba siya kaganda? Diba? So, pag-usapan natin bakit maganda yung pagiging financial advisor. As an employee, mababa yung risk, mababa rin yung investment. Yan, hanggang medium yung risk na yan kasi nga hindi mo alam kung sino yung mapafire or, you know, pag nag yung company, like what ha- what is happening right now, so realidad yan. Yung return mo, medium to, low to medium lang din because of the fixed income. No? May mga mag-good paying jobs, pero, again, may limit siya. Kahit ma- hindi ka ganun Uh, kahit masobrang sipag mo, possibly you feel underpaid. Sa small business, malaki yung return, pero malaki rin yung investment and yung risk. And you know, 9 out of 10 businesses fail during their first 3 years. Kung nag-franchise ka naman, nabawasan yung risk, nabawasan din yung return kasi you're pa- paying royalties. But as a financial advisor, your investment is low. You just start up with a very few capital. Um, Just yung mga exam-exam lang yan at licensing that kailangan mong, of course, meron yung payment. And then may konting risk. Ang risk lang yan, on a weekend, kailangan mong mag-cliente. Sometimes before ka umuwi, nag ka ng client. So you're spending more time. But that's just right. But the returns are huge. My question is, and kindly comment in the comment section, how much do you see yourself or do you want, your, do you want to, to create What income do you want to create in this industry? Magkano gusto mong kitain on a monthly basis? And then sasabihin ko sa iyo kung meron kumikita niyan sa film life. So kindly comment in the in the comment section below. There's also two ways to grow your business. You can become a, a fec, an, an expert financial advisor wherein you can be part of the prestigious global organization called MDRT or Million Dollar Round Table. These are the top 2% of all the financial advisors worldwide, not just in film life or in the Philippines. This is worldwide, right? So if you can be like that if you want to be recognized and help more people. And you can also start building your own team. But that when you build your own team, you're helping people make good money as well as part of your team. And then you have additional source of income. Hindi na lang isa yung source of income na nagbebenta ka lang. Pwede ka rin mag-build ng team wherein you can good make good career out of that. ba? Diba? So yun yung ways to grow your business here in Film Life. Alright, so yun yung magandang career. Mabilis ma-promote dito. You can even be promoted as a manager probably in 3 to 5 years. Alright, so depende kung gano'n ka, mo rin kabilis gagawin. Ang maganda rito, walang, alam mo yun, walang bureaucracy na nag-aagawan kayo dun sa isang posisyon, hindi ganun. No? Dito, pag magaling ka, you can be. So, that's one of the major differences of this career to a common corporate job. Right? So, that's my first part. In a moment, we'll be sharing with you a success story. I'll be calling someone to share her story here, to briefly share with you her story. Before that, I'll be reading some of your chats. Yun nga, relate na relate daw si Kiel, ayan, si Joji, si Robby, ayan. And then, sabi ni Kiel, if given the opportunity, I would push to earn 1 million per month kung mag-aim na rin lang ako ng goal, tataasan ko na. May nakilala na akong kumikita ng ganyan, Kiel, dito. Hindi ko nilang papangalanan. Pero may kumikita ng ganyan sa film life. ba? Diba? And ibig sabihin, you know, this is the right vehicle. I always use that metaphor that kung alam mong magaling ka at mataas pangarap mo, but if you're riding the wrong vehicle, mabagal takbo mo. ba? Diba? But if you will be riding the right vehicle, meaning it is proven, can go, let's say, 150 kilometers per hour, ba? Diba? Yun yung takbo niya. Or even 200 kilometers per hour, yun ang takbo. Proven na. Eh, nasa sayo na lang yung kung gagaw- magda-drive ka ng ganun. ba? Diba? As the driver. Kung gagaling ka mo rin mag-drive. ba? Diba? So, let me call on our speaker. So, This speaker is one of the top, in fact, the top financial advisor of Film Life or of, of Starbright last year. 
and one of the top financial advisors of Film Life. So for for so many years, she's a three-time MDRT, right? and a very good friend of mine as well. Um, nakasama ko siya sa Sydney at nagumalagala kami last year sa Australia. We attended an, uh, the MDRT Global Conference as well. And for her to share her story, let us welcome the gorgeous Karin Santos. Hi, Sige, Karin. Yeah, kindly share your screen. No, I didn't share it. Oh, Alam ito si Karin. Ayan, ito si Karin. Ayan. Hello, guys. Ayan, say hi to Karin. Hi, guys. Thank you for inviting. Ah, yung mga nag-invite for the COP. Salamat ng marami. This is my first time, ano, eh, sa Zoom maging speaker. Kaya medyo kabado. <laughs> Oh, marap sa maraming tao. Hindi naman madami, pero yung totoong tao nasa harapan ko. So, medyo challenges to. Okay. So, i-share ko Sige. yung aking... Please share your screen. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, yung story ko is, um, hindi ko pa rin binago na may marathon to success pa din. Okay. Kasi ito yung tinitingnan ko. Marathon kasi is unti-unti, no? Unti-unti na achieve Tapos, pag nandun ka na sa pinaka-finish um, line, iba yung pakiramdam. Okay? So, papakalala ulit ako. I'm Karin Santos, a financial advisor and MDRT. Um, naririnig? Okay ba yung audio? Hello? Okay, yes, okay. yes. Okay, sige. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Siyempre, uh, i-share ko muna about myself before... Ay, about myself. No? Uh, computer science graduate. Ito yung picture ko nung graduate ako. And then, a single parent. Yung anak ko, graduate siya last year. So, college na siya ngayon. Okay. Uh, I was a secretary before, before joining financial advisor. So, um, 2004, nag-start ako as a secretary. Iyan yung picture ko nung mga kasama ko. And my boss, no, um, for how many years? Parang 2004, no, kami yung magkasama. Siya yung nag, nag uh, turo sa akin kung paano magbenta, kung paano maging maayos na maging financial advisor. Actually, marami ako sa kanya natutunan. Si Miss Nina and you were. Okay. Bakit ako nag-join sa pagiging financial advisor? As a secretary, it's, dream ko kasi siya eh. So, gustong gusto ko siya. So, bakit ako nag, nag, uh, nag-shift ng career as a financial advisor? Kasi, ito yung malaki kong why. May family. No? Kasi siyempre kung secretary ka, nakikita mo yung mga income eh. Nakikita yung mga income ng as a financial advisor. Sabi ko, ang laki. So, gusto ko rin siyang ma-achieve. Gusto ko rin siyang maku- gusto ko rin ma- maging ganun, no? So, para rin mabigyan ko ng magandang um, buhay ang family ko. Kasi nandun ako sa sandwich generation. Yung binanggit nga ni Sir DJ na hindi siya, hindi lang yung anak ko yung susuportahan ko. Andun din yung parents ko and yung mga kapatid ko. Okay. So, yan. Yun yung napag-dibu ko siya last year, yung anak ko. Okay. Siyempre, hindi naman siya, hindi biro, you know, yung pag nag, as in, nag-join ako as a financial advisor. May mga challenges. Okay. My first challenges is work schedule. Kasi hindi naman ako agad nag-jump as a financial advisor. Naging secretary pa rin ako that time. Nag-join kasi ako 2016 eh. Nag-start ako ng pagiging secretary is 2004. So, yung schedule ko, Medyo challenges kasi parang katrabaho ako sa umaga. Tapos, paano ako makakakuha ng client? No? Paano ako makakapag-client call? And then, no prospect. Wala naman ako ganun kakilalang mayayaman na pwede ko bentahan. No? Hindi ko naman pwedeng agawin yung kliyente ng boss ko. Diba? So, yun yung medyo natat- doon ako natatakot. Saan ako mag-uumpisa? Okay, lack of confidence. Uh, mahihain po kasi talaga ako. Hindi ako yung tipong tao. Pag nalagay mo sa isang lugar eh, mahikipag-usap na, no? Andun ako sa takot. Lalo na pag binanatan ako ng English ng mga kasama ko, na parang, an- ano yun? So, medyo hindi ako confident sa mga sa mga bagay. Parang lagi may takot. Okay? So, syempre, overcoming challenges. May mga, ano yan, eh, may mga ginagawa. Paano mo siya, ia- paano mo gagawin? So, syempre, ang unahin natin is yung mindset. So, sabi ko, kung kaya nila, kung kaya ng iba magbenta, Bakit hindi ko kaya? ba? So, insurance is a need. So, nung nag-join ako sa Film Life as a secretary, nakita ko kung ano yung kagandahan ng benefits ng insurance. Nakapag-process kasi ako ng mga debt claim, mga ganun. So, parang naisip ko, ang ganda-ganda ng trabaho ko. Kasi nakakatulong sa kapwa, no? Na hindi, kahit hindi ako yung financial advisor 
na yon pero ako yung nag-process ng pag-claim, nakita mo kung ano yung itsura ng client na nabigyan ng ganong claim. So, iba yung pakiramdam. Then, work is my prayer. So, parang sabi ko, kung gagawin ko to ng tama, at alam mo yun, yung parang dasal at i-offer sa kanya, wala nang magiging parang pangit na mangyayari, di ba? Pag para sa kanya lahat yung ginagawa mo. So, yun yung ginagawa ko para mo overcome ko. Okay. So, yun. So, i-share ko sa inyo yung mga milestone recognition ko, no? Nung no, nag-join ako sa Film Life noong 2016, no na-recognize agad ako for 2018, ah, sorry, 2017, na-recognize ako MDRT for 2018. Then, sa pangalawang pagkakataon, nakala ko chamba, no? Baka sabihin, chamba lang kasi one year. Talagang pwede mangyari, no? Sa pangalawang pagkakataon, na-recognize din ulit ako sa pang- ng 2019 MDRT. And for this year, MDRT ulit. So, tatlong beses. Okay. So, share ko lang din sa inyo yung mga achievement ko nung ginibigyan ako ng award. So, si Papa ko, um, napasama ko sa stage, no? Na picture. Tapos, ito yung uh, 2018 na recognition. Last year. And this year, nakahabol pa kami sa awards for the North Star of the Year and Star Bite of the Year. Kasi sa career na to, hindi lang siya parang income, no? Pero re-recognize ka din. Mapapakotel ka or i-recognize ka lahat ng ginagawa mong um, uh, lahat ng ginagawa mo. So, papakita sa parang may mga jaryo, may mga awards. So, isa sa mga dream ko yon na dati sinasabi ko na sana maging ganun din ako. So, okay. So, ito yung mga travel ko, no? Um, LA, may first uh, travel sa um, US, no? Ito yung parang hindi ko makalimutan na travel kasi nga, my dream country is LA. Okay. Um, Yan yung picture sa Alaskan Cruise last year. And I think Australia to. Yeah, Australia. Okay. Sige, share ko lang din yung numbers ko. Kasi niisip ko kung kailangan ko ipakita sa inyo to. No? Hindi ako nagyayabang. Pero pinapakita ko dito sa career na to. Na hindi siya... I mean, pag ginusto mo talaga isang bagay, makukuha mo eh. Kahit unti-unti. So, my first... Uh, Nung nag-license ako ng June to December 2016, no, six months. So, I have 34 lives. Ibig sabihin, pinasok na tao, na-insured. And first premium is 970. And the income is 281. As a secretary, akala ko okay na to. Kasi kung, di ba, generous ang boss mo. Pwede yung may income, di ba? Or less. Pero nag-income ako to, wow. Nagulat ako. For the second year, 2017, for the full year, I have 60 lives and 3.3 premium, yung pinasok na business, no? So, ang income ko is 985. Okay. For the 2018, nakikita nyo nag increase no? So, meron pa rito sa atin sa group na nag income ng ganito sa mga guests. Pwede tayo maglagay sa chat room, no? Para at least alam kong may kausap ako. Tama ba? Okay. So, Last year, nakapag-income ako ng 2.6. Bakit ito pinapakita? Kasi makikita mo every year, kung gusto mo talagang mag-kumita mag, uh, ng malaki, sipag talaga lang ang katapat. No? Hindi lang siya parang um, malakihan, mabilisan, pero unti-unti lumalaki siya. Okay? So, total saved lives ko last year is 317. So, from three, uh, three years in the making talaga, hindi lang siya parang isang bentahan, isang malakihan. Pero unti-unti, parang chani-chani talaga yung um, pagkuha ko ng income na to. Okay. So, syempre, sa dun sa in, mga income na nakuha ko, nabibigyan ko ng maayos na buhay ang pamilya ko. So, um, one of my achievements is napapatravel ko si Papa ko sa Hong Kong. Okay, napaburakay ko din sila. And syempre, yung mama ko, napatravel ko sa Osaka and sa iba pang mga lugar na hindi ko na nilagay dito. And syempre, uh, nagkaroon din ako ng parang malaking investment, no? Na parang magamit ko sa career na to. Kasi hindi naman tayo pwedeng commute-commute, no? So talagang um, uh, gumawa ko ng paraan na para at least, meron naman ako sasakyan, no? Para ma-achieve ko to. Para at least mapagaano yung pagtatrabaho ko na parang siya yung magiging partner ko. Sabi ko nga, di ba, single mom. So siya na lang yung asawa ko muna, si Anton, yung sasakyan ko. So, Okay. So, di ba, ang ganda ng career na to, um, bago mag-COVID, kung titingnan mo, ang ganda eh, ang bilis, ang daming income. Pero, biglang sa isang iglap, no, parang, ano nangyari? COVID-19, tumigil mundo. Kayo din ba, ganun din pakiramdam nyo, yung nasa peak kayo ng career nyo, tapos biglang tumigil? 
Can I ano, hear some ano? Tama ba? Hello? Yung nag-COVID-19 parang tumigil ang mundo natin. Lahat parang ha, ano nangyari? Nag-hang na lahat. Yun yung naramdaman ko nung in-announce yung um, ECQ na parang tigil. So, ang unang pumasok sa isip ko, paano yung career ko? Paano ako makakabenta? For how many years, no, hindi ako tumigil sa bahay. For how many years, hindi ako nag... Parang ang pinakatigil ko lang is pag gusto ko Sabado at Linggo, pero Monday to Friday is may work talaga yan. Talagang trabaho hanggang gabi. Pero nang biglang nag-COVID-19, tigil, stack up lahat sa bahay. So parang two weeks yata ako nag-isip, anong gagawin ko? Pero syempre, adapt the new normal. So ano ba yung normal ngayon? Nasa bahay ka, may pag-meeting, no? acceptance. Kailangan mong tanggapin eh. Kasi kung parang uupo na lang tayo sa tabi at titingnan na lang mga nangyayari at matutulog, kakain, gigising, ganun na magiging routine. Walang mangyayari. Okay? So parang, so acceptance, no? Defy the challenges. Uh, labanan natin, no? Nil ako ginawa ko talaga parang nilabanan ko na parang nakakatukso na parang maghapon at masarap na lang matulog manood ng Netflix. Pero paano mo magagawa yun? Paano mangyayari sa buhay mo, sa family mo, kung gagawin mo lang siyang ganun? Na parang hindi mo na parang hayaan mo na matatapos din to. For, for how many months? March to April and May hanggang ngayon. Kung ganun pa rin ang thinking natin na parang okay na lang, bahala na, no? aantay na lang tayo sa wala, or hingi na lang tayo, pipila tayo sa labas para sa ayuda ng government. Gusto ba natin yon? So, hindi. So, ang sabi ko sa sarili ko, I am stronger than my excuses. Kasi ang dami excuses eh, ang dami pwedeng, ang hirap magbenta eh, sinong bebentahan ko? Sinong kakausapin ko? Eh, lahat ng tao, walang pera. I mean, kung titingnan mo na, kung ang titingnan mo is yung nasa balita, lahat ng may isip mo, walang pera ang tao. Pero kung titingnan mo siya as a financial advisor at pwede ka magkaroon ng opportunity na i-text yung client, kumustahin, malalaman mo may mga kailangan pa rin sila, may mga needs pa rin sila. Okay? Buti na lang si Philam Light nag-launch ng digital selling. So, ito yung parang nung nag-announce si Philam Life, ano ba to? Takot pa rin naramdaman ko kasi sinong bibentahan ko. Pero hindi, sabi ko nga, accept, acceptance, defy challenges, adapt the new normal. So nakita ko nakakabenta ang iba, but hindi ko gagawin? So binalik ko lang ulit yung initial challenges ko nung nasa bandang unahan ng slides ko. Mindset. Ayun yung power ng mindset na pag nakikita mo naman na yung iba nakakabenta, but ikaw hindi mo kaya. So ang una kong ginawa, chat ako sa mga clients ko, nagpatulong ako, referrals. So I want to share with you, may ECQ numbers. So, di ba? Sabi nga nila, may COVID numbers, no? Pataas ng pataas. Pero, ako kahit pa paano nung March up to April, this is the present number, no? Hanggang May. Updated. I have 17 lives, no? Sabihin na bentahan ko pa sila, no? Through digital selling. Okay. My income is 198. Hindi pa kasama yung mga bonuses na binigay ni Film Live. Sa so, tingin nyo ba, kung biglang tumigil, like, kung empleyado ako, Itong, kiki, itong 198 na ito, kikitain ko. Di ba hindi? So, ito yung parang, na parang everyday, no, titinan mo yung income mo, may pumapasok. Magpapasalamat ka sa Diyos na buti na lang financial advisor ako. And, nung sinabi na maging speaker ako for this, anong sasabihin ko? Ano yung pwede kong i-share sa akin? No? Yun nga, yung parang pagiging, yung tingin mo sa mundo, hindi ka titingin sa parang, um, yung level mo eh, titingin ka sa taas kung sino yung pwede mong tulungan sa baba. So, yung pagiging financial advisor, nakakatulong tayo eh. Hindi lang dahil binebentahan natin sila, dahil kikita tayo sa kanila. Pero paano natin sila matutulungan, no? Paano natin sila matutulungan para umangat din? To save lives is yung magkaroon sila ng protection. Ito yung nakikita kong pinaka-importante ngayon, ni protection. If something happen na may mangyari sa kanila, at least may may iwan sa family nila. So, that's it. So, babalik ko din po ulit yung parang um, mantra ko for the marathon, no? Uh, basahin ko na lang. Like the marathon, life can sometimes be difficult, challenging, challenging in present obstacles. However, if you believe in your dreams and never ever give up, things will turn out for the best. That's it. Thank you. Hello? Thank you very much, Karin. <laughs> Ang hirap pala nito. Hindi ko nakikita reaction. <laughs> Sanay na sanay ka sa mga tao eh. Tanggalin ko na yung share. Yeah, yeah. Please, ano, end the share screen.
Okay, okay, okay. Okay ba sila? Ano ba mga reaction nila? Yeah, Pag- sige. So, maybe you have some questions kay Karin. You can uh, put in the chat box. I thank you very much for that um, very inspiring uh, sharing, Karin. If, if you have questions, later natin yan i-address. Ganon. Um, during the Q&A section. But grabe, sobrang inspiring. Yung you earned almost 200,000 in two Wala months. Pa Wala pang bonuses, di ba? So, nano yung, yung ano? Minsan so, nasarap bilangin, you know, na parang, oh, ito pala kinita ko, ibig sabihin, hindi dapat ako malungkot. Di ba? Ganun lang pat ako bilang ko. Di ba? Ganon. So, uh, thank you very much, Karin. It's, I'm sure you inspired people. No, Ayan, sabi nila, yun nga, thank you po, Miss Ka. Sobrang inspiring po ng story nyo. Very encouraging yeah. and inspiring. Yun, ang galing ka, iba ka. Very inspiring po. Ayan. So, um, you know, again, that shows lang, Karin, no, na, ang ganda nga. And I like what you shared na even, na, na-affect ka rin eh. Na, naging affected ka rin, kinabahan ka rin, nalungkot ka rin. But you bounced back earlier or uh, as soon as pa pwede na. And then you're able to save 17 lives, carry, kumbaga cover them already during this time. ba? So, ibig sabihin, pwede talaga eh. Pwede talaga as long as you do what needs to be done. And of course, you're really trustworthy no, in, in doing that. So thank you for that, Karin. Let's proceed. Now, if you have some questions with Karin, you can type in the comment section. Later, we will also answer that. For the moment, I'll be sharing with you again uh, our slide. So you know, apart from Karin, there's a lot of success stories with, with film life. And you know, um, that's what we want to share with you, that this, car- this career can really pay good income and you're enjoying. Kung nakita nyo naman si Karin, paganda ng paganda. Diba? Yes! And, <laughs> ayun, and of course, and you can feel that she's enjoying. There's a lot of free travel. Ayan. Narami na siyang nabigay na benefits for his fam- for her family. Ayun. Umakit pa ng stage. Diba? Nung una, may mga kasama siya sa stage. Gusto niya solo siya. So, naging solo siya. Ganon. So, um, and I hope, no, again, I'm inviting you guys to be at the office kapag nagkaroon tayo ng live session with Karin. Kasi mas lalong energetic at masaya yan. Okay. <laughs> so I would like to welcome you to Starbright Financial Advisors. We are the top agency of film life. Meaning you can really get a lot of great mentors in this, in this team to help you succeed faster in this business. Right? Film Life is part of the AIA group, uh, one of the biggest uh, ins- insurance conglomerates in the world. Actually, we're the top in Asia Pacific. So, Film Life, um, ano ba maganda kay Film Life? We are very stable. We're the strongest life insurance company because we have the biggest assets. And kahit alisin mo lahat ng liabilities, we have the biggest net worth. And then we have a great income as well. Meaning, you know, we're in the business of paying claims. We have to make sure that the policies that we sell, we are be able to pay claims. Dahil stable yung company, hindi magsasara. And you know, Film Life is has even five times the solvency requirements required by the insurance commission. So meaning, um, we're, we're really the strongest life insurance company. We can make sure that we can pay claims when something like this happens. Let's say, ito nga, nagkaroon ng pandemic, possible, maraming mga potential claims. And yes, we can deliver to our promise kasi at the end of the day, kaya lang natin sila binintahan, we wanna cover them. Diba? We also have end-to-end product solutions from protection, life insurance, health insurance, education needs, future savings for retirement, and even investment. Right? All of this have life insurance um, purposes depending on ano yung pinaka major reason mo bakit ka kukuha. And ang maganda rito, we have IPOS. We are the first in the market that offers interactive point of sales wherein pwede ka nang gumawa ng proposal sa iPad mo and even cre- close the sale there. No, You can even accept payments through credit cards right in your own iPad. So very mobile tayo. Anywhere in the Philippines, you can sell. Hindi mo na kailangan magdala ng mga papel-papel. And ang pinakamaganda rito, you don't need to force any product to your client Kasi yun na yung na-print mo. Diba? Ina- inabuta Inabutan ko po yung time na ganun. Pag pupunta ako sa kliyente ko, I have to print, let's say, three options hoping na may kunin siya doon. Diba? Kasi kung hindi, babalik pa ako, ganyan. 
or I have to go elsewhere para makapagpaprint or magpagawa ng proposal sa office, itatawag ko. So, very hassle. E dito, you can change your proposal and custom fit it to the needs of your client in just one minute or less. Diba? If in case, sinabi niya, DJ, parang, what if 2 million yung coverage instead of 1 million? O oh, sige, kaya natin gawin yan. In one minute or less, you can do that. So, you're really giving what the client needs uh, and you're not pushing something na hindi nila talaga kailangan just be, just because, alam mo yun, ayaw na magpabalik-balik. So, we have that. And we have agency portal, meaning yung mga details nung uh, policies mo, more importantly, makikita mo na siya online. All you need to do is just ha to have a gadget and internet connection. Kung kailangan ng update ng kliyente mo, you can go there and just take a look. No, take a screenshot, send it to them, ganyan, or kung may tanong sila, minsan tinatanong di siya ano bang policy number ng plan ko, magbabayad na ako. Hindi mo na kailangan pang pumunta pa sa opisina to take a look at the papers, ganyan. Meron na tayo sa agency portal. You can do that. So very efficient yung trabaho natin dito that's, which makes it, you know, uh, really well, um, kumbaga mas masaya siyang gawin kasi you can focus more of your time in really serving your clients. So now let's talk about the income opportunity. No, paano ba yung kumita rito sa film life? Um, ang average commission ng mga products natin is 25% of the first year premium. So kunyari, meron kang kliyente, ang annual niyang binabayaran is 100,000. So you get 25% of that. The commission is released 20, uh, three days after approval of the policy. So mabilis yan, madideposit na yan automatically to your bank account. Right? So... Yun nga, kaya kahit ngayon, sarado sa opisina, hindi mo na kailangan pumunta doon no, to get your check or whatever. No, it gets delivered right into your bank. Ganon. So, uh, maganda siya. And there are even products who have bigger than 25% commission. So, that's why that's our average. So, let's have an illustration para ma-appreciate nyo further. Right? Ng sample income natin sa isang saleable product, we have this plan called AIA Critical Protect, yung ACP na lang yung pag-usapan natin. No, it's a protection product wherein if you can have a premium na 30,000 to 50,000, ba? Sabi na lang natin, no, yan yung kaya mo. Tingin nyo naman ba kaya nyo makabenta or meron kayong client na kayang mag-save ng mga 3,000 to 4,000 a month. So that's around 50,000 premium kung 4,000, ba? Wherein it will give them 1 million life insurance and critical illness protection up to age 100. So, nagbayad ka 10 years or 20 years after that, fully paid na yung policy mo up until age 100. Kung ano man yung mauna dito, either magkaroon ng critical illness si client or magkaroon ng, yun nga, mag mamatay through, through death, um, why makuha 1 million. So this is a, the sample product. So do you think you have clients who would be interested with this? Right? If yes, let's say you have 10 clients in one year. No, kunyari, nagkaroon ka ng 10 kliyente na think 50,000 yung premium. Paano yung kitaan yan? Diba? So let's look at 2020, the year 2020. Sa 500,000, kasi 50,000 times 10, yun yung benta mo, yun yung ANP, annualized new premium. Right? Um, ang kita mo dito sa year 1 is 25%. No? So you get 25% of 500,000 which is 125,000. Ito yung malupit dito. Hindi lang 1 year yung commission. As long as your client pays, you get more commission. So let's say next year, hindi ka nag-improve. Sampu lang ulit yung nabenta mo. So you have sale, ANP, 2021, 500,000. And then, year 1 nung policy na yon you have 125,000 income diba, for that policy. Ang maganda rito, yung mga nabenta mo for this year, yung 2020 sales mo, you get another 25% income from that. So, you get 125,000 from there. Your income is already 250,000. Imagine, you double your income without doubling your effort. Saan ka makakakita ng income opportunity na pwedeng mag-double yung income mo in one year? Right? Again, saan ka makakakita ng opportunity na pwede mag-double yung income mo in one year without even doubling your efforts? Diba? Ang ganda. 
Ang maganda rito hanggang 6 years yung commission ng product na to up to up to year 6. So imagine 2025 if you still perform pareho lang, not even one client in a year and in a month. Actually bawal yan sa Starbright, at least one client in a month tayo. But for illustration purposes, let's say 10 ka lang every year times 50,000, 500,000 ka lang every year, hindi ka nag improve But your income goes up to 375,000 not even mentioning some of the potential bonuses that you can get. Diba? E eh what if dinoble mo yun, nag-20 ka, ito talaga, ito yung average benta ng isang financial advisor na seryoso. Si Karin po, 120 policies siya. Yung 10 clients niya, a month yun. 120 policies siya a year. No? O last year. So yung 10 policies a month niya yun. So let's say ito, ito yung average ka lang. Huwag natin sabihin career, career level ka agad. Sabihin natin 20 clients a year ka, pero 50,000 premium. That's 1 million sale. And that gives you 250,000 income for your first year. And next year, if you just you know do the same and not even improve, wala ka pang MDR din ito, no? you have half million income already. So it's just 20 clients in a year. Parang, para ka lang ng liyente ng 2 weeks. Parang gano'n, nagtrabaho ka lang ng two weeks, sabihin na natin yung iba hindi kumuha. And yet, you're making around 500,000 a year. And if you continue doing that, hindi ka pa nag-improve, 1 million ka lang a year na benta, possibly, you're earning 750,000 plus bonuses, guaranteed or 1 million a year. Right? What more, kung alam mong masipag ka, what more, kung alam mong magaling ka, what more, kung willing kang matuto at i-apply yung learning, di ba? you're humble enough to learn from the potential mentors that you have in this business. Right? And, and what more, kung talagang gagalingan mo pa, di ba? what if you know that you're an achiever then, and gagawin mo rin yan dito sa negosyo na to. So, potentially, mas malaki talaga yung kita. Yung, kaya yung numbers sa pinakita ni Karin kanina, sa kita niya, it's really possible. And hindi lang si Karin yung kumikita ng ganun. Right? So, yun yung good news for you. Sabi nga ni Karin, kung kaya nila, kaya ko din. So, pwede kong sasabihin sa inyo, kung kaya ni Karin, kaya nyo din. ba? So, and also, you can even build a team. You can refer a financial advisor and through the advisor referral program, you can get 7.5 to 15% uh, commission from kukunin from the, uh, hindi, hindi siya kukunin. Eh. Parang kung makano kinita nung, nung, nung advisor na nirefer mo, you get, let's say, 15% of that. Let's say, meron kang advisor na natulungan, kumita siya ng 1 million. So, this person takes the 1 million, you get 15%, additional 150,000 income just for from that one person. What if you help build a bigger team? So, mas malaki pa. Ganun. So, si Karin, ganun. No? May mga tinulungan siyang advisors. Hindi siya manager pa rin. Uh, but she referred a few people Ito mga tao, kumikita rin na to. In fact, meron siyang isang MDRT no, sa team niya, si Dennis. So, si Dennis, masaya, malaki kinikita siya. May additional income siya from that. That's how this career works. ba? Automatically, you have at least two sources of income in just one career. And yung mga, not saying yung mga bonuses, free travel that you get, parang additional income na rin yun. It's enabled na for you. Diba, para gasusin mo for your own travel, diba, masaya talaga lalo. So, okay, DJ. Um, this is exciting. Now, you're, you're asking, what do I do next? No, what, what can I do after this? Um, your next steps is you need to attend the licensing training. Um, you have to attend the training to take an exam. The VUL and OL exam, these are the two licenses that we have. One is for pure Insurance, pure traditional insurance, that's OL or ordinary life. And yung VUL, the variable unit link products, are insurance with investment products. Diba? So, maganda you take both. <clears throat> and then you will be interviewed by the unit manager and then your agency manager. From there, you will be licensed. Right? So, these are the four easy steps. And the good news is... Since pandemic pa rin ngayon, ayaw mo pa rin lumabas ng bahay masyado, there's actually a, an e-learning course, which is PCTC, itong unit link products, business conduct, intro to edge, and the edge one and two. You can take this online, finish all of this, take the mock exam, 
So that pag natapos mo na siya, you can take the insurance commission exam. So ang unang-una nyo pong kailangan i-take dito yung PCTC, then sunod yung unit link. Ito yung dalawang merong exams. ba? There are 10 modules in this series, kunyari PCTC, 10 modules yan. You can take 1 to 2 modules at a time and then pahinga ka bukas ulit. Ganon. Uh, so it can be at your own pace as well. You will be having an ito, film life e-learning account. Ganon yung mangyayari. So, um, and hopefully, as soon as possible, matapos nyo siya para when the IC exam is ready, pag pwede na ulit mag-exam, then you can take the exam and then start this uh, this business already. So with that, thank you very much and welcome to Starbright Financial Advisors. Now let's go on to your questions. So if you have some questions for me and Karin for, with the process, ayan, um, kindly type in the, in the comment section in the chat box so that I will be able to read. Yes, and then of course, um, before we ask our agency manager to formally welcome you. Please leave the Q&As or your questions. While you're thinking of your questions, let me call on our agency manager to formally welcome you in our, uh, in our team. So let me pin Ms. Ana Blanco. So our agency manager is here, Ms. Ana Blanco, to give you her message. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Morning. So happy to see. Good morning. So happy to see many of you. First off, I would like to thank Karin. Parang gusto ko ulit mag-join. Gusto ko mag-recruit. Gusto ko gumaya kay Karin. So thank you so much. Um, your story is always inspiring. So. Welcome to everyone who joined us for the first time today. Uh, I'd like to thank you for spending your uh, Friday morning with you guys. I hope it has been worth your while um, joining us today. I hope uh, uh, at the very least you learned something new. Um, na nalaman nyo na may ganito pala. At nalaman nyo na meron palang mga beautiful people like Karin and DJ who are in this business and having fun. So... And I'd also like to thank the people who invited, uh, who invited you to join us today. So at least, um, can I have a thumbs up? Kung uh, para sa inyo isulit naman yung inyong uh, over one hour of being with us, listening to the soothing voice of Mr. DJ, na pwedeng mag DJ, no? So DJ siya na millionaire at age 21, di ba ang galing? So anyway, you've heard quite a bit of information. Um, just a little bit about just a little bit about myself. Um, I've been 24 years in the business. So, I, <laughs> I hear some voices. Maybe can we mute everyone? Um, uh, uh, just to share also with you, uh, ako 24 years na in the business. Karin and DJ are uh, medyo, uh, uh, DJ is relatively um, new pa rin naman, no? So in my case, 24 years in the business and still going strong. As you can see, I'm still excited to, to do this thing uh, with you guys. With uh, ECQ, parang, parang masarap din mag-retire na. Masarap pa lang nasa bahay lang. Masarap pa lang nagsisiesta. But no, because uh, it's this business that's keeping us young. I'm a CPA by, by, by training. Uh, I finished um, accounting in Ateneo de Zamboanga. I'm not from Manila, but this business has made it possible for me to create something for myself, to create a business here in Manila. Uh, I only uh, moved to Manila after college to work, uh, just like many mga provinciano. So, Promdi, uh, the business that I have built, there's almost 200 in the whole of Starbright District. Oh, yes, 200, including our staff. More than 200. But that was created from scratch, from nothing. So if there's anybody of you there listening, how can I do this? How can I do that? Just think of me. Prom D. I did not even study in Manila. I did not have too many friends. And the friends that I had from, from when I was in school, hindi ko sila nilalapitan dahil kukulitin nila. CPA ka, stay in SGV or go to SGV or work in corporate. 
bakit ka mag-aahente lang? Diba? So, I didn't want negativities when I was starting. So, I did not bother anyone. And my, my mother also told me not to bother relatives. So, I started from scratch, literally. Um, whatever success I've had, it is from following those who are senior than me, those who invited me, following the training of the company. So, pwede talaga siyang gawin. You can make something out of nothing in this industry and be amply rewarded for it. This business, nobody is underpaid. Whatever you work for, you'll get it. You'll never be underpaid. I have worked in corporate myself, but uh, I always felt that kulang naman yung bayad sa akin for the talent that I have. And parang ang tagal ng promotion. At parang you have to kill somebody just to, to get to the place where you want. Sabi ko, it's not for me. I know I can work hard. I know I have talent. I know I have that sincerity. And I found the perfect place for me here in here in film life no so um kanina tinanong kayo kung magkano gusto ng income and i love it that somebody answered 1 million yes you can earn millions here people have done that but ang tanong talaga kahit anong trabaho are you willing to do what it takes to get that million diba yung kumikita ng million no mistake about it they work really hard they take risk they do whatever it has to take to earn that million. The nice thing with being in film life is you are in an environment where that is possible, 100% possible. Sometimes we are in a situation where kahit magtumbling ka na magtumbling, kahit hindi ka na matulog, yung income mo ganun pa rin. <laughs> hindi ba? Thumbs up if you agree. So I felt that same way before I was in film life. And when I was in film life, even if I was very much challenged, uh, considering my situation, uh, I'm not from Manila, nga. I didn't have too many friends, but I was willing to do what I have to do, what it takes so that my dreams will come true. So growing up, my, I've always had the, I always love to read. I, look at, I, love, I grew up uh, looking at magazines and I always felt transported. I love to travel. I like to go see places. Um, lahat siya natupad sa film life. Dumating na sa point na in one year, bibigyan ako ni Film Life ng five, six trips abroad. Ako na yung humihindi. Like last year, yung sinasabi ni Karina Alaskan Cruise, di na ako sumama for some reason or the others. No? So, um, lahat na, higit pa sa pangarap ko ang naibigay sa akin ng, ng Film Life. Um, lahat naman tayo nagtatrabaho para ma-share natin sa loved ones natin. Parang hindi naman yata tayo gaganahang magtrabaho ng magtrabaho kung sarili lang yung iniisip, di ba? In my case, uh, parang hindi na nga kasi siya trabaho. It's just that we're excited to, to do this because it has become a mission. Um, the work that we do means so much to us because we know that it makes a difference in other people's lives. So... Um, talagang naging totoo para sa amin dito sa Starbright Film Life na we give others what they want so that we get what we want. Uh, it has been a blessed career. That's why we are so confident in inviting you, you guys, our guests today, to join us because the only way we measure our success is that yung invitees namin magiging successful. Yun lang ang, sa totoo lang, yun lang ang trabaho ko talaga. Just to make sure that the people we bring in become successful right away. Our mission is that lahat kami magiging mission-driven millionaire. Hindi lang basta millionaire. Nagiging millionaire dahil ginagawa yung mission na tulungan ng bawat Pilipino na maging mas protektado, mas secure sa kanilang finances. Um, ngayon panahon ng COVID, makikita mo kung sino ang at, at ease at sino yung insecure. And it, ho it has all to do with whatever money that we have, whatever we have saved, whatever we have built. And that's what we do. As we help others become secure and protected, we become secure and protected ourselves. So it's a win, 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 win. And I'm so happy to welcome you. Uh, hopefully soon you can visit our office. We owe you lunch. For now, you have lunch in your own kitchens or dining rooms. But when this is all over, we'll have a, we'll have a gathering. Uh, just to meet, so you can, um, para makurot ni si Karin. 
okay? And for me, so that I can shake your hands and maybe do a beso beso with all of you, pag pwede na. So, thank you so much once again to our guests today. We hope that the next meeting, hindi na kayo guest kasali na. But if not, time will come that you will be part of us. Or maybe you can refer somebody na tingin nyo babagay dito. Kasi hindi naman lahat uh, ngayon. Hindi naman lahat a eh, timing, no? If they all deserve a timing. For today, our objective is just for you to see uh, what it is that could be a big possibility for you so that you can live your best life. Let us help you live the best life that you deserve. That's what we want to do. Okay? So, once again, I hope to see you all in our office very soon. Um, I wish that everybody stay strong and stay healthy. Okay? Stay positive. Let's keep our thoughts positive. Um, we are now friends. I invite you guys to, to request to be friends with our Facebook, Starbright. From there, you can see a lot of, uh, a lot of more information about us. And you can see if tingin mo bagay ako dyan sa kanila. I like to be with them. You like to be friends with us because definitely we'd like you to be with us. Thank you once again. Thank you to those who invited you. Thank you to the managers who are also here today. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, Karin. Thank you to Jean, who is our uh, no, uh, our staff also who are here with us. So back to you, DJ. Happy lunch, everyone. Thank you, Miss Anna. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone for attending. Wala na bang mga questions? That's good. Mukang klaro naman lahat. Now, the next step that you can do. Ay links for e-learning. That's good. Thank you, Mark. Um, Go back to the people who invited you. They will be the one to register you. They will be asking some of your details. Uh, lalo na yung email nyo. They will be sending the link to your e-learning. Ganon. So actually, that's the next step talaga. Talk to the people who invited you so that they can register you so that you can start your e-learning kaagad. And then, make sure you update them once in a while. Kasi lahat ng mga umaten sa akin dito, they update me. O DJ, tapos ko na yung PCTC. O DJ, meron na akong uh, certificate. No? Napasa ko na. Ganon. So, Make sure lang that uh, you do that, para at least um, yeah you you can you will be we know kung nasa na kayo kung nakakapag ano na kayo nakakapag 